Hey guys, okay, I'm back. I just started filming a video and nobody was hopping on and I was like, oh my God, wait, maybe I'm on the wrong channel because I have like so many different Google accounts on my phone and I can't keep up. Hold on, let's try to turn on the chat just to make sure that we're good because last time I didn't, there we go. Okay, so hopefully somebody will hop on. I think I set this as public. I don't know what's going on with me. Um, it's been a long day, but anyway, I was saying before, I just went to go get a manicure. So the whole reason that I went to go get a manicure is that my nails were all the way grown out. This one was off, this one was half off, and the rest of them were like halfway out with um, the dip powder gel, which is really hard. So I wanted them to take it off. And then while I was there, I was like, well, you might as well polish them, right? Cause you know, everybody needs some um, short, dark nails in the winter every once in a while. But I'm saying that to say, I really gotta go to the bathroom and I'm sitting outside of Target, but I figured why all day really dry? Cause like, when's the last time you had to literally sit and let your nails dry? Everybody gets gel pretty much nowadays. Even when I ask for a regular manicure, they're like, are you sure not gel? Yes, these puppies need to get a little bit more healthy before I can put gel back on them. Anyway, so I got this wonderful question from one of our members. I asked her if I could answer live as long as or answer in a video as long as I kept it anonymous and she gave me permission so um, it's a little bit of a mess she has going on this poor thing so I wanted to talk through it with you guys some now that there are some people on hey can you just pop something in the comments so I know that the chats working I'll give it a couple of minutes and I pressed the little chat thing over here that says that I can see comments but last time this happened I couldn't see anything and I still don't see any comments usually you guys Hop on real quick. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey, okay. So I guess I pressed press the wrong button. Yay. Okay. So I don't know what you're laughing at, but I think I said something that struck you funny. Candy. Um, okay. So really quick, let's answer this question before I run into Target and return something. It says, Hey Ro, I'm from Canada and my boyfriend is out of prison just west of my city. We have an NCO, which is a no contact order. So they're not permitted by the prison by law to be in any form of contact with each other, visits, phone calls, letters, anything like that. So she said, so we're not supposed to communicate, but we have been anyway up until recently. I'm not sure how you feel about NCOs, but to put things bluntly, he had an addiction during that time, which he was struggling with, and that took over his conscious mind. Because of his addiction, um, it took over his mind because of his addiction. Besides the addiction, he's a very great human and he's not once blamed me for him for his incarceration. Good. Um, and takes full responsibility for his actions. He went to prison this past July and since then he was contacting me daily. Girl. Um, we would have small talk, etc. But about his days, and then I don't know why, but I started getting worried about him. He said a prison guard bought him brought him a book from home girl oh god he said, he said a prison guard brought him a book from home i lost my spot um one time and that she was just a nice person considering my knowledge of what's going on or what goes on inside of prison it's very small um and i couldn't help but be curious as to why a co would do this after being incarcerated for a month i got a text girl number three I got a text saying your boyfriend lost his pin or his calling card for a month and cannot call you during that month he eventually started calling me on someone else's pin oh girl and since then never called me on his pin from then forward you guys feel free um, to comment in the comments just please keep it respectful because this is a t teaching experience it's a learning experience for her and it's an experience for anybody else who is come in come comes in and wants to know about this or comes in and is debating um, any of this we're gonna teach her how or him how to move forward properly with this uh, but I just ask you guys to keep it respectful um, so she said got someone else's pin um, and then he never Okay, so during that month, he called her on somebody else's pin, but then after that month, he never called her on anybody else's pin moving forward. He hasn't since. This got me wondering why he was able to call me even though he lost that his own pin for 30 days and got away with it, wondering why he was blah, 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 blah and got away with it. Eventually, I would... Okay, eventually I would notice certain days he would call me later in the day than usual and he would say, oh, sorry, I was cutting hair, etc. Are you mad at me? 
and to me this seemed really odd it would seem to happen somewhat more frequently also some days on the phone during the day he would just be quiet or distracted and at one time sorry guys I forgot to shut off my notifications um let's see this is like a really long email so I keep losing my spot um, I apologize for that but he was cutting hair he would okay so this seemed really odd to me um, and it would seem to happen somewhat more frequently also some days on also some days on the phone during the day he would be quiet or distracted and one time a guard was trying to get his attention while on the phone with me he eventually got a cleaning job in prison where he would clean the range and he said he would work out during this hour and I would hate to allude to anything in particular but anytime I would ask him any sort of questions regarding that CO he would get agitated moving forward after he claimed he lost his pin for calling me or getting caught calling me I got a phone call from the prison his case work from the prison his caseworker just simply asked me if I was talking to him or not because remember they're not supposed to be talking which I replied to and said no and she never asked me if I was talking to him or not I'm sorry whoa and she never asked me if I was okay sorry there's like a lot of missing punctuation punctuation here sometimes I'll rewrite these questions or I'll just like punctuate them so I can read them better for you guys but I didn't with this one so just pardon me that's why I keep like losing my spot and getting mixed up um okay okay the caseworker asked if he was talking um asked me if I was talking to him or not which I applied to and I said no she never asked me or she never speculated or anything she just said that it was her job to call me and was quite pleasant to speak to so then I asked him the next time to call me so then I asked him the next time he called me and I said so if you got caught for calling me why did your case manager not mention that you got caught his response was something was some other guard caught me and I guess my caseworker she did not check her email since that month he has been not able I'm sorry since that month he has been able to call me on somebody else's pin but did not get caught again until recently these past few weeks I have not heard from him yet he's getting people to send me loving messages saying your boyfriend loves you girl saying your boyfriend loves you and he's not allowed to call you anymore also um a month or two ago he drew a portrait of me and said he sent it away yet I never got yet it never got sent and his father has been trying to get visitation for the past three weeks and it has not gone through yet if he did get caught for calling me he would have a breach yet no one or nothing has even been said or done if he has just gotten a breach so I don't understand that sorry if I lost some of you guys I'm getting I'm almost at the end so I don't know if I'm just being a little unreasonable or if something strange is happening I know it's hard for you to give me a direct answer but maybe some insight would help I feel maybe I'm gonna I'm going a little crazy but it's really hard when you don't know anything about prison also when I do talk to my boyfriend he's very happy to hear from me expresses how much he cares for me he constantly tells me not to worry about him in there and I just don't know what to do about my thoughts and feelings I know this sounds a bit complicated and I apologize but I hope you get the moral of the story truly and then she signed her name okay there's so much going on in this email Wow and I I, uh, I read this I debated whether I should answer this publicly for you guys just because there's so many no-no's going on in here but then I decided to answer it publicly for you guys for that exact reason because there's so many no-no's going on in here oh why did I do that I just smudged my nail I forgot my nails were wet because who has wet nails anymore in 2019 anyway so um oh god okay where do I even begin no contact order sweetheart I know you justified the fact that there yes you took the words out of my mouth Juliet you justified the fact that he is a no contact order by his addiction but getting a no contact order means he did something awful to you and I think he needs to feel that distant uh, distance I know you miss him and I know that you want to hear from him but I always tell somebody who's really 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 close to me who's in a very abusive relationship I always tell her I'm like listen once he crosses a line and you make that okay whether it was because he was under the influence or not there is no going back right so he needs to feel 
the loss of you and he needs to feel what he did was wrong. I'm not saying there is no such thing as forgiveness and I'm not saying people can't change. But what I am saying is by you just saying, well, he was an addict and he's a really nice guy when he's not high and what he did to me was awful, but I'm justifying it because he was high is not okay. Addicts can get clean and addicts can change 100% yes, but they're not gonna change overnight and he needs to feel you being gone. And there is a no contact reason order on you guys for a reason. So the fact that he's going around and calling you and other people's pins and all this, those are all big fat no-nos, sweetheart. And I'm not trying to be mean and I'm not trying to be harsh, but tough love sometimes needs to be administered in this life. Do not answer the phone when he calls you from other people's pins because you know what's happening in there? He's going to be owing those people things, right? So tough love has to start otherwise he will take advantage of her kindness absolutely candy absolutely absolutely Juliet absolutely so yes I can't say it any better than the girls just said you need to start giving him tough love now as far as the CO I think I saw it in the comments COs are never ever ever supposed to cross that line between professional and personal what that's called is i believe it's called fratur fr fraternization they're not supposed to fraternize frat 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 how the hell do you say that word they're not supposed to cross that professional personal line she's doing something wrong okay him accepting it is doing something wrong if somebody if a co tried to give my husband something he would walk away fast he would run in the other direction fast that is crossing so many lines by her professionally, but that's also putting him in such a bad situation personally as an inmate. Like so many red flags fraternize. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Oh my God. Whoa. Um, female CEOs have those fetishes with inmates too, Juliet. That is such a possibility. Absolutely. So there's just, there, there, oh, no, like I just can't say anymore. No, 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 no. And the fact that when you bring it up, he gets automatically off the bat angry. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong there. Something is very wrong there. So he probably doesn't want you talking about it on the phone because they could both get in trouble. And I'm not saying they're having a relationship by any means, but what I'm saying is that's grounds for either one of them to start holding that over the other person's head and that is exactly why that's a rule and why that should never happen and why that will never happen by my husband like he like no absolutely not and i'm not trying to i'm not trying to call you up because you don't know i'm trying to teach you but like that is up there with top things to not do while you're inside no way absolutely not Guys are gonna start looking at you differently, right? Guys inside are gonna start treating you differently, not in a good way, because now you're taking your, what are you doing? Like you're crossing lines, are you one of them? Like, it's just not a good idea. It's not a good look from him. Thank you guys that are teaching me how to say that word. <laughs> I know the word, I could see the word in my head, I just cannot say the word. Fraternize? Somebody just phonetically spelled it out for me and I still couldn't say it. Well, you know, this is me. So. I literally couldn't say the word. What was the word I couldn't say the other day? Um, uh, abandonment. And then one day I was I was driving into work before that video posted, right? And I was like, abandonment. Duh, that's how you say it. So thank you guys for putting up with my mispronunciations of words. But anyway, no, that is not a good look. He should not be calling you in other people's pins. He should not be contacting you, period. Ever. The fact that people, he's having people text you, um... Where, why, how are they texting you? Okay, how? I'm assuming through cell phones on the inside, another big no-no. Like the, there's just so much going on here that is wrong. And I'm not a stick in the mud by any means, but like think about it. Think about it just logically, right? He's having somebody else text you. So one, your number is now on that cell phone on the inside, somebody else's cell phone. When they go down and that phone gets confiscated, your number's in there. As well as, he's not supposed to be contacting you. So he's he, gonna go down for a cell phone, gonna go down for contacting you because there's no contact order, right? Who's to say, who is this guy to him that has the cell phone? Now, what does he owe this guy? Because nobody inside does anything.
for nothing. Mm -hmm. Nobody inside does anything for not getting anything back for free, right? So the fact that this guy is allowing him to use his phone and contact his girl that has no contact order, now he's at his mercy. Again, so he's at the mercy of this CO. He's at the mercy of this other guy. Like, who knows what other fires he's potentially starting in there god forbid he starts using again like there's just so much going on here i know you want to speak to him but now is not the time to be speaking to him okay you need to let him feel the loss of you he's an addict that is supposedly clean i'm not accusing him of not being clean but i'm just saying he's an addict that's supposedly clean right because all we know is his or the words of other people what they're telling you because you can't speak to him so he needs to like I said earlier, he's not getting clean in a day. He's not getting clean in a month, okay? He might be clean, like not doing drugs, but all of those issues, is this about me? No, sweetheart, I, I'm, I'm, no, 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 no. I, I read a question from somebody who asked um, a question to me, okay? So he needs to uh, straighten himself out. Like he's still doing criminal things, right? Although that they're not big deals, like using somebody's phone on the inside. Is that the biggest of deals? Eh, I don't know, but they're all things that are still street life. Like let him get him sh his crap together. Let him get to the point where like if my husband sees somebody with a cell phone on the inside, if he did, I'm talking like at the old facility where he was, he will run in the other direction because he doesn't need to be around that. He doesn't need to be associated with that. Like work on yourself as an Al-Anon. Great, great advice, Ray Ray. You need to work on yourself as a loved one of somebody who's an addict so you can fuel, you can have the tools in your toolbox to deal with an addict and addict type behaviors. Okay. He could be the best person with the best part heart. I am, will never fight you on that. I will never fight you on that. I'm sure he's a beautiful person with a beautiful heart, but addicts do addict things, right? And they have to undo years of addict behaviors that they learned because of their addiction. There's nothing wrong with them for that. It's a disease that they're trying to fight, right? So he needs the medicine to fight that. And you need the medicine as his other half to fight that. And, and right now he's still be displaying addict behaviors, okay? So no contact order is there for a reason. He did something really bad to you, sweetie. He did something really bad to you. Right, right. Awesome. So maybe you can um, help with things that I don't know. I'm not an addict. Adam is not an addict. So I don't have those tools in my toolbox to help people who are either addicts or love an addict. But I know that there's tools that you need to, first of all, there's healing you need to go through after going through all of, through all of this with an addict, after being abused by an addict, after enabling an addict, after potentially having a codependent relationship with an addict. And the fact that you can't stick to your no contact order and you haven't all along means that there's some sort of codependency going on there because you should be able to live without him and trust that he's in jail working on himself and you need to be out here working on yourself. Okay. So your question to me was about, should I be worried? I'm so worried. I'm so, oh my God, does he have something going on with the CO? Like, I don't think sexually he necessarily has something going on, going on with the CO, but there's there's like bad behavior going on here. There's something not right going on here because COs don't just bring people presents. That's that's the answer. I mean, that's the black and white of it. COs don't just bring people presents, even if it's just a book. It just doesn't happen. Like they don't bring stuff from outside into them, okay? And guys don't just call on girls' cards and all of that stuff, meetings. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, so I don't remember the other questions, but you're tell asking me if you're overreacting. My thought is forget about the overreacting. Why? What's underneath there? You obviously still don't trust him because of things that he did on the outside and now behaviors that he's brought into the inside and still displaying. So you need to um, figure out through that and if you need to even stay with him like my advice to you is let him do his thing in there you don't have to break up you could still be together while he's working on himself in there don't answer those calls from other people don't answer those texts from other people you don't need a text from somebody else so now your number is on a cell phone inside of jail with somebody that says your boyfriend is in love with you and blah 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 you know he's in love with you right i don't need other people to justify or to um validate Adam's feelings for me, to me, from him, I know how he feels about me. 
right? I trust him because we've worked for many, many, many years. We've gone through some shit crappy. I try not to curse on my videos anymore. We go through so we've gone through some really depressing, hard times that we had to communicate through some tough stuff and figure out if we were going to actually do this and figure out if we were actually going to make it. And it made us stronger. And now I trust him with every fiber of my being and every ounce of me and my whole soul. So I can go weeks without hearing from him if necessary. Not that I ever have, unless it's like lockdown or lock up because he doesn't just not contact me. We have we don't have a no contact order by no means, by any stretch of the imagination. But the point is like, we worked through all that crap so we could come out the other side. Mm -hmm. Now we're 10 years into this, you know, he's t almost 20 years into being incarcerated and he's a different person than he was on the street. Allow him to go through that. Allow him to go through the tough stuff. You go through the tough stuff. You guys go through the tough stuff as a couple when you can communicate again. And, um, work through it. But I'm telling you this now, like I've had some girls who've had no contact orders who didn't, um, who didn't uh, abide by them. They got the crap beat out of them after he got out, got the crap beat out of them so bad that it was a miracle that they were still alive. Okay. And I had this one girl who was like, well, I'm still not, I'm still not gonna leave him because I love him and we had about 50 members like I've been there sweetheart I've done that it's no judgment we don't judge each other I've never judged anybody on my platform but nobody here has ever been judgmental to one another but the point is they were so loving and trying to help because they're like listen the next step after somebody beats you bloody to the point where you don't know if you're gonna the doctors didn't know if you were gonna survive or make it is him putting you in a body bag. Like those are the things that you need to think about when you're about to answer the phone when he's calling you or he has somebody texting you or anything like that. Let him feel all of this crap and go through it now. So if maybe he changes in the future, you'll have potential to be a healthy couple. But right now, not allowing him to feel the loss of you all throughout your no contact order, all throughout the whole entire time he was inside, he was calling you until he got caught. Then he was he, he, like at his behavior, using somebody else's pin. What do you think he gave the guy for that? You tell me, what do you think he gave the cop? Because I'm telling you they weren't doing it for free. So what is he, does he owe somebody? Cause it's a real bad situation to be owing somebody in jail. So did, did he talk his way into getting that and now he owes them? Or does he have to give them something? Are you going to have to send him money so he could pay them? I'm telling you, nobody, including those COs that are doing them favors, nobody is doing anything for free inside. Nobody's doing any favors for nothing. And if they are, they're about to get walked all over real quick. And they're about to learn real quick. Because unfortunately, that jail works. So I'm not telling you this to scare you. I'm telling you this to hopefully, to hopefully open your eyes to the fact that he's putting himself in a really really dangerous situation and you're putting yourself in a really dangerous situation. So, um, I hope that helps. I, I'm not trying to beat you up or kick you while you're down or anything like that, but I can't just come in here and make everything like fluffy and roses for everybody. When they ask me questions, I gotta be real, you guys. And I'm, that is 100% why I'm answering this online. Like I never live. I mean, I never, um, typically, answer questions about cell phones on the inside or breaking no contact orders or doing stuff like that. But she's not the first, she's not the first 50th and she's not the last who will be asking this question. And I need you guys to know. So thank you guys for all you who um, shared your experience in the comments. Um, I'm, it's getting dark, so I'm gonna go. I gotta run into Target, return these couple of things that I had no business buying out of the junior section, like why? Um, and then I gotta get home to mom. She's having a really, really rough day. She started with vertigo now, on top of the no breathing. Well, no, she's breathing, like the difficult breathing. You know what, somebody just, I'm in a parking lot, but I'm just gonna pull up. You know when somebody pulls out of the spot in front of you so you could like pull out so when you leave, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, you can pull in. You can come in, you can come in. Um, I was trying to pull through so I didn't have to reverse later, but somebody just so happened to be turning the corner and pulling in in front of me. So I let her have the spot. Oops. 
Anyway, so mom's having a rough time with vertigo. Like she almost fell three times. So my sister's there with her right now. So I could run some errands. I could get my nails done because I don't want to leave her there by herself. Like I won't even let her go to the bathroom by herself right now because she almost fell um, three times while I was getting her dressed. And then another two times while I was helping her walk her down the stairs, even though I was practically carrying her. Not a good situation. So she could use some prayers, you guys. Um, that's it. You guys keep staying strong. Keep loving strong. Keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to it all being behind you. Lots of love for my heart yours. Thank you again for keeping it. I didn't read the comments, but somebody would have told me. Thank you for keeping it um, professional and helpful and not um, not being going after this girl in the comments because we need to teach. We need to use our experiences and our knowledge to teach other people. I will see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one. If you have any questions you want me to answer either on a live or in any video type of video, you just um, pop them in the comments or... Um, shoot me an email at strongprismwives at gmail.com. I keep smudging my nails. Like, what was the point? Um, and I will see you guys. I will answer them. I'll get the questions. I'll answer them whenever I get them. Thank you, sweetheart. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.